All right, so it is morning. We just woke up and I forgot to grab my iced coffee that I get at uh, the grocery store yesterday. So we're gonna run to Starbucks. And by we, I mean me and that little dog and that dog. They absolutely love going in the car in the morning. It's like their favorite thing ever. So they get really excited on the days that we go to Starbucks. So we are gonna go get a coffee there because I don't feel like running to the grocery store first thing in the morning to get my iced coffee that I drink at home. So we're gonna go grab that. I've been in this line for like 20 minutes already. That is how bad I actually want my coffee over going to the grocery store to get the coffee that I can drink at home. This is horrible. Hi, can I just get a venti iced vanilla bean coconut milk latte? Is it grande? A venti. Venti iced vanilla bean coconut milk latte. Gotcha, anything else? That'll be it. All right, 583, I'll see you Thank you. Thank you. items I'm gonna put in my oatmeal along with those apples that you'll see in a minute I have some sunrise maple um, cereal that I'm gonna put like maybe half a cup in just to add a really good crunch to the oatmeal because I like having a little crunch to it but I think that this is really really good if I don't go for granola I'll go for some cereal with it and then I'm gonna add a little bit of flax seeds and a little bit of chia seeds you could do one or the other they're both good for you but I'm just gonna do like a little bit of each and then I'm gonna add ground cinnamon and my sugar-free maple syrup as always. Also, depending on how dry the oatmeal is, uh, I might add a little bit of coconut milk too if I feel like it needs a little splash of something. And then I'll also put those apples on top. All right, so there are the oats right there. They're nice and thick. I don't like mine super watery. Um, I like to make them nice and thick. So I am gonna add just a tiny splash of the coconut milk. This is what the finished product looks like. It is so, so good and it's gonna be super filling. It is already almost 11.30, so this is gonna keep me not really needing to eat again until closer to like probably three o'clock. So it's just gonna be nice and filling and super good. Just kidding, this is the final product. If you could see on top there, I forgot. I had some coconut chips and I love these. They're so good. I love the one from the Dang brand as well, but I tried these and they're super good. So they're just these like brown coconut chips. So I added those on top as well for a little extra crunch. And now I'm gonna go enjoy my oatmeal. All right, y'all, it's about three right now. So I made myself a nice lunch to hold me over until dinner. Um, it's not the healthiest, but it's not bad either. It is pretty healthy compared to a lot of the stuff that I've been wanting lately. Um, this is just a sand, like a regular sandwich. I would do a wrap, but I actually don't have any wraps left. So this is just honey wheat bread. There's a piece of white American cheese, a piece of turkey, and then I also put some chipotle mayo on it to give it a little flavor. Then I have watermelon because that has been like my biggest craving the past couple of weeks, even though watermelon is totally not like very in season yet. It's not that good, but have some of that. A couple strawberries just to have those in there because I need to use them up. And then I do have a couple lime tortilla chips just to get a tiny bit of crunch into the meal because I've really been wanting the crunk, like the crunchy texture in pretty much everything lately. So that's just a little bit just to get that in there just because I love it. Hi y'all, I'm on my phone really quick so I'm sorry. I know it's not going to look good for this little clip but this should only be like a 20 second clip so I'm sorry. I just wanted to share though that I'm having a freeze pop because it is hot as hell outside and freeze pops are my newest addiction in pregnancy. I have wanted them every day. I probably had at least four of them every single day so I'm going to have a pink one now. Just gonna let y'all know, even if I don't show it, it is safe to assume that I probably have at least two more tonight. 
I'll probably have a blue one, probably have an orange one. Those will probably be my late night snacks. So I'll try to show them if I remember. But if you don't see like a late night snack at the end of this video, just assume it's a lot of freeze pops. I'm gonna go enjoy it though. All right, y'all, so I am making dinner here. Uh, this was before my husband left for his army stuff, so he was still eating as well, so that's why I have a bunch of chicken there. I had, I think, three or four chicken breasts that I was going to kind of meal prep for a few days as well. So I pretty much marinated with a bunch of, like, garlic and seasonings with barbecue, and then I also did a buffalo one for my husband. And then I am peeling up those sweet potatoes because I'm going to put them on the grill with the chicken, which was amazing. Amazing. I made one of those simple little dull uh, salad things because they were on sale at Kroger. Honestly, they're not the best, but I just figured that would be like a decent side to put with all of it. Um, and it's super easy. And right now I'm like all about easy. So I seasoned up my sweet potatoes and I sprayed just some coconut oil over them. I put a ton of different like seasonings. I usually do garlic powder, salt, pepper, chili powder, stuff like that. And that is all of the stuff cooking up right there, which was so, so good. I don't know what it is about rolling, but it is so amazing. So I'm going to show you the food there, and then I didn't make an outro for this video. I'm so sorry, but if you enjoy what I eat in a day while pregnant videos, especially healthy style, give it a thumbs up and let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video.